So I have been on a search for the most affordable PID machine that includes the most features and I have found the Leylit Grace. So I haven't turned this machine on yet. I haven't done anything with it. I just bought it from Amazon. And here's a tip for you. I bought it from the Amazon warehouse deals. So I did get this a bit cheaper. It's a return model, but still looks very good, nearly new. And so today I'm just going to turn it on and give a few initial impressions about the machine. So you'll notice that this machine looks way more modern than the Leylit Glenda that I recently reviewed. This one has got curved edges on the front. The stainless steel looks like it is a brushed stainless steel. The Porta filter looks way different. Um, pretty incredible design on that Porta filter. These two gauges here are rounded. So that kind of fits to the rounded design here. You've got here two tactile buttons we're going to take a look at. You've got a manometer and instead of having two switches that need to be used in combination to do things, they've got three buttons here instead. And I think from an ergonomic standpoint, that's a much better solution. However, there is one more other thing to mention. I wish that they would have updated, but they didn't update is here how the water tank is so you got to kind of wiggle this thing up and out of there and then you've got these two hoses here and then you can go ahead and, and fill this up so that i do find quite annoying but there is something new that i've noticed and i think it's it's really two things they've got a reed switch inside here to notice whether or not this is even in here and there's another sensor down there i believe because You can hear a, ma a magnet in there, I believe. And so when that magnet is touching the sensor, then the machine also knows, oh, no water in there. Fill me up. That is very, very nice. So considering those two nice features that this includes two new sensors, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give them a pass on the ergonomic difficulties of filling water in here. Let's just go ahead and turn it on real quick and see what it looks like. There's the on switch. All right, so it's telling me here, it's got a triangle with an exclamation point. So there's some, something wrong. Uh, there must be a fault message. And here there is a, it looks like a, a water spigot with a drop of water coming out. So that tells me I gotta put water in the machine. Let's go ahead and do that. It would be nice if they would include a funnel. All right, what is it telling us now? 14 degrees. Excellent. So it's got water and it's warming up. Let's take a look here in a couple of minutes. In the meantime, let's talk about the unboxing. The unboxing of this machine was really unspectacular. It's not like a Breville machine that comes oof, box so nice, kind of like an Apple product. Well, I'll show you real quick. So this is the box right here. You can tell it's pretty well beat up because this, this was a return, but I digress. This review is not about how they package their machines. This review is just to get a very initial impression on this machine, because what I wanna be able to do is just adjust the temperature to various beans and see if I can get the best out of the bean, to see if I can really attain the sweetness because if you under extract, you don't really get that sweetness to see if I can get more of the, like the acidic flavors out of a, a lighter roast and um, just to be able to adjust that accordingly. Let's just take a quick look at what the machine comes with. It's got a plastic tamper right here, kind of like you get with the Gaja machine. A little heavier, maybe not great. Oh, but you know what? It actually fits pretty well. There's not much play there in between the basket and the tamper. So it does come with this blind disc. Awesome for back flushing your machine. It comes with this little single filter, two single filters. Okay. And the double is already installed here in the port filter. Then just in case you didn't have any kind of scoop or spoon in your household it comes here with this scoop and it comes here with this little tray to raise up the espresso glass on your machine. 
So, there we are. How warm are we right now? Oh, 95 already, not bad. Well, that didn't take too long. Now I wanna say one thing about Lelit, and that is they use, for most of their machines, 57 millimeters. I got nothing against not using 58. Uh, actually, I prefer like a 50, 54 or 51 millimeter porta filter because I find that they tap out better. You get kind of like a, a thicker cake when you have a smaller diameter, which is just a nice for boop, tapping out. However, 57 is like really unusual and you've got to search a bit further to find accessories like a tamper, for example, or a funnel for dosing. But anyway, I chose this machine over the Victoria because this one has got a smaller boiler at 250 milliliters and I'm hoping it's going to be less sluggish moving from espresso mode up to steam mode and vice versa. That's my plan. We'll see. And uh, it's quite a bit cheaper. So I got this as I mentioned and I'd like to give you guys this as a tip as well. I got this on Amazon Warehouse and it is a good way to get deals on things. In fact, I got my last two iPhones on Amazon Warehouse deal and they came in perfect condition. So you just have to take a look and see if maybe what you've got is already on an Amazon Warehouse deal to save yourself a bit more money. That's one tip that I'd like to give you. Just a couple more um, things to mention about this machine. It does have a relatively small heating element at 1,050 watts. So I am curious to see how sluggish it's going to be to move in between modes. All right, let's go ahead and make sure that the machine is primed. Let's run some hot water through the brew group as well. Let's get a little bit of a closer look here at the porta filter. It does look extremely handsome. I think that double spout looks really cool on there. This, however, is plastic. Yeah, otherwise, it's a nice porta filter. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves a shot. Like I said, unfortunately, I don't have a funnel yet, which means WDT is also a, a bit difficult to do without one. But let's check out this tamper. Oh, what is nice is look how nice and level this porta filter is when you just leave it down like that. Perfect. Oh yeah. That's what we're working with right there. Oh, we're set at 95. That might be a bit high. How do I change it? Okay, set it for 93. Let's give it a shot. We're gonna see uh, what kind of pressure we get and see how the temperature goes. Oh, it's got a shot timer on there too, nice. Okay. That's looking pretty good just like that. 38 seconds. That's a long shot. That is a long one, but that's okay. It's the first attempt with the machine. So, need to adjust the grind on there, but I am uh, looking forward to using this machine. I wonder if you guys have any questions about this machine. If so, write them in the comments down below. I hope that this video is helpful for you, and if so, please give it a like. Check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking.